Okay, everybody, so today, finally, I'm going to be showing you how to make a double exposure using Photoshop. Um, if you don't know where a double exposure came from, it came originally from film cameras, where um, photographers would take a picture, take a picture on the roll of film, re-roll the roll of film, and then take a picture over that. So you're, they expose the film twice to light, so they would have two pictures on top of each other. Um, some DSLRs today can still do that digitally, obviously film cameras can, but most of the time people just do it through um, Photoshop. Uh, you can get some really cool effects. This works best if you have light and dark combinations. Um, the darker stuff shows up more and the light stuff fades out. Um, and I'd recommend tree pictures. I mean, you can use whatever you want. Clouds work well too, but I'd recommend nature pictures. I'm using this one. And um, this is the picture I'm using for my um, my background. Um, so, um, and you can do these in color, but I'd recommend black and white. I think color is a little more challenging. You can hide your mistakes more with black and white. Um, so yeah, and then I kind of made this more contrasted so you could see the um, so the shadow stand out more. So I'd have this dark against this light. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to make the background of this white because I don't want all this stuff in the background. So I'm going to go over to my magnetic lasso tool and I'm just going to make a rough selection here. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to go with my normal select tool and hold down shift and then uh, circle the parts that the magnetic lasso tool didn't get. Or subtract the one, the parts that I didn't want it to get. So like right here under his neck, I don't really want that. So so now what I'm going to do is within my selected area I'm going to right click and then I'm going to go to refine edge and it's going to take away everything and see what our selection looks like so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this adjust edge and then feather it out a little bit and I'm going to do it around halfway just so it looks smoother like that. That's pretty good. I'm going to press OK. Now what I'm going to do is uh, right click again, select inverse. So it's going to select everything but what you originally selected. I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to go um, fill and change content aware to white. Press OK. And there you go. Then we go Control D. And there is our pretty good solid background for our overlay. Um, now, let me my layers again. I'm going to go over to my nature picture that I'm going to be using as an overlay. And all you do is you get your little movie tool. It's funny ways you can move two pictures on top of each other, but I'm just going to use a little movie tool thing. So you just drag it over here and drop it. And then move it over here. So now it's your layer one and over your background, which is your uh, your horse or your your um, whatever you want to be faded out. So I'm going to see how I did this. Okay, so what you do to do the actual double exposure effect is you change your um, layer mode to screen and then you move that around you can also do lighten it honestly there's all there's tons of different um layer modes that one's not the same but um the one that I found that works best for me is a uh, screen. Yeah. So yeah, go ahead and change it to screen. 
And then as you can see in the final product, um, I added more contrast and I did that so you could see the difference between the darks and the lights. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do control T so I can move this around and I'm going to rotate it. This is kind of, you know, the artistic part of it where you pick what you want it to look like. I'm going to try and get it as close to the example as I can. So that would involve um, trying to get more. Um, and also, right now, I'd like to give credit to ALM Equine or um, Annalise or um, my god <laughs> for starting this whole thing with a double exposure. She's really awesome at these. Go check her out if you haven't already. Um, Make this a little bit bigger. Rotate it a little bit more. Up. So what I'm gonna do is just go to adjustments, brightness and contrast, and bring that contrast, bring that contrast probably all the way up. And I'm just doing this kind of quick. Um, this isn't the best picture to use, and. Um, for the background either, but it works and um, still get some cool effects. So you can turn the brightness up and have it make this whole head fade out. Or um, I'd recommend using levels also. So that's pretty much how you do it. Um, I hope this helped you guys and uh, if you have any questions just leave a comment, DM me on Instagram, comment on Instagram, do anything you want. And um, I'll try and help you guys out. Uh, I hope this made sense. Um, and if, uh, make sure you leave requests for other tutorials. Thanks for watching.